Hey there, I'm here today to encourage you to disconnect, to truly disconnect. Shut off everything that bings and bongs and rings and knocks and be quiet. That's observation number eight from 10 observations from 10 years in business. So what I've learned is that your business is only as sustainable and is only able to grow to the extent that you're willing to disconnect, to get quiet and step away. Honest to goodness, and I've been there, so many business owners that I run into are like one step away from a nervous breakdown. Seriously, I mean, they're so stressed and strung out with their triple lattes and don't get me wrong, I love coffee, but you know, that much coffee, that much stress, that much doing, 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 I just see them like one step from a nervous breakdown. Or alternatively, they've got that smile, the plastic smile, the my jaw is hurting oil, I smile, smile, because there's so much smoke and mirrors that goes on that they plaster this smile on their face to, so that you can just know how really awesome they are and how perfect everything is going, even though they are secretly sweating to death, stressing out, uh, and running like a hamster on a wheel. So if you want to know more about that smoke and mirrors thing, go to a previous video because I was talking exactly about that. They can be found, you, you can be found checking all the time. Like you can't even sit down and have a conversation with these people without the phone sitting there. The phone's sitting there, it's sitting there and it's on and it's awake and it's, it's talking to you. And even while you're in the middle of a conversation, a deep conversation, they wanted to step away, they're checking their phone, checking their phone because you know, some crazy thing's gonna be so damn important uh, that it's gonna happen and God forbid, they can't miss it. So for myself, I, I've been in that stressful place that 1130 at night and I'm an early to bed person, right? So 1130 at night to me is like two, three in the morning to the rest of the world. Sitting here, trying to get one more thing done, trying to get one more thing done so I can launch a product, trying to catch up on emails, get work done, trying to come up with the next offer. And I can remember the first few times that I decided to step away, to go on vacation. And I tend to go on vacation places where you couldn't get cell phone service even if you wanted to. But yet I felt like I had to keep checking. I had to have things on. Because what if a client had a question? What if a, you know, an opportunity came up? All, all these sorts of things. And yet I was the person in corporate who was teaching everyone else how to like step away and not check stuff. So the irony there was not lost on me. But then I went to a retreat where no phones, no technology, no connecting was allowed. And guess what? Guess what? The world didn't end. All my clients didn't make a max exodus and my business didn't vanish. The people who wanted to hire me, like the new opportunities that inevitably showed up in my inbox, uh, were more than happy to wait a couple days to talk to me because they actually respected and admired the fact that I took time for myself and they wanted some of that for themselves. Maybe you want some of that for yourself. And so they saw it was possible through what I was doing. And I'll add that almost every time I disconnect, whether it's for a vacation, whether it's for my Fridays that I take off, or whether it's simply to go to the gym at lunch for an hour or two and then come back, almost every time I step away and get quiet and stop all the doing, 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 new opportunities show up. That long lost client emails me back looking to work again or one of my referral partners sends me a few new contacts, uh, or that email I've been waiting, a response from somebody I'm working with uh, uh, for information that they need to get me, magically shows up. Not to mention that in these spaces, I'm able to get clear about who I wanna be in the world, the kind of life I actually wanna live, the kind of business I wanna run, and it allows me to have better boundaries and better relationships and better income and I feel a hell of a lot better too. So I'm all about getting it done. I'm all about taking action and execution and to-do lists and, and, and getting it handled. But systems that work even when you're not at work are what allow you to take the time and the space to disconnect. And so if you're curious, how can you make these, you know, where's there a gap in your systems or how can you uh, determine what's the one little thing that maybe is getting in the way of you being able to do this too, besides you giving yourself permission to do it, which is a biggie. And if you need help with that, reach out because I, I can help you with that. 
Um, but if you want to know where you need to make a little change, a little tweak, so that you can create more disconnect time yourself, uh, please all head on over and take the quiz. You can create some more breathing space by honing in on exactly what you need, that one little thing that's holding your business back at apologycompany.com forward slash quiz. Uh, and beyond that, I invite you to just take a few moments to disconnect. I tell you, turning off notifications, disconnecting from your phone will be the best thing uh, that you've done. There's, there's a good place for this technology, but you also need to know where the off button is, the delete button is, and give yourself permission to take a breath, to be a human, a human in business, uh, and that will reap plenty of rewards for you. So stay tuned. We're rounding out with the last two, number nine and 10, coming up in the next week or so.